Good morning. Tahmina Khan is here. Today I will explain you the concept and examples of the Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is an option S2 of CAIE A level mathematics. So before I begin I would like to mention here that this is my blog address where I'm posting the link of all my videos. It is tkmathsisfun.blogspot.com. So before we start I would like you to know what the syllabus requirement is and then each point I will explain with the help of the example which I have taken from the past paper question. So we should know the conditions for a Poisson distribution mean what are the condition which the event the random variable x must satisfy if we are modeling it by Poisson distribution. Then how to calculate the probability Poisson probability distribution what is the formula how to calculate it we will check that then we will see mean and variance of the Poisson distribution and then we will see Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution it means the question will be given to you in binomial distribution but you will solve it using Poisson distribution and in such cases we check certain condition if that condition is satisfied then we can apply Poisson approximation then we will see the normal approximation to the Poisson distribution. It means question will be given to you in Poisson distribution, but you will solve it using normal distribution. So again, because you will use it, certain condition should be met. That's why we call it approximate. And then we will find out that Poisson variables, which are more than one, two mostly, how to sum them up and then solve the question. So we will look at these aspects because this is the requirement of the syllabus and then each one we will see, uh, understand with the help of example taken from past paper. So let's see what is a boson distribution, number one. Whatever I am speaking I have written as well because for everybody just listening is not sufficient, they want to see what is written. So let's see what is a boson distribution. It is a probability distribution which is for discrete random variables. In S1 you have done that for normal, distrib normal distribution is for continuous variables, random variables. So Poisson distribution is for discrete random variables where your x represent the number of occurrence in a certain time period, in a certain space. So this is one way to identify that it is a Poisson distribution case. I will uh, explain it through examples. Okay, how many times event is happening in a time period or in the particular space? For example, I can say um, number of goals in half an hour or I can say number of accidents on a particular road in, in a day. So I am specifying a time period in which I am talking about the occurrence of the event. Okay, so beside that very important thing for event to... Um, I mean, if you want to apply Poisson distribution, the event should satisfy these condition. All distributions have certain conditions to meet. Similarly, Poisson distribution can be applied if these conditions are met. What are those? That events must be independently happening. For example, is one event happened. Sorry, there was break in the explanation. So I was saying that x variable um, should satisfy the following condition. Events should occur independently. The occurring of one event should not affect the occurring of another event. And they happen randomly in the time period given to you. One event happen at the time, so singly, and at a constant average rate. So these are the four conditions which must be met when we are solving a Poisson distribution conditions. Mostly in CI syllabus, they ask you, uh, assume, or explain three conditions which must be satisfied because most of the time students remember independently and randomly so sometimes these two are given to you and it is asked what are the other conditions so you should know all conditions so let's see the examples here for example if I say the number of flaws in 20 square meter of material so how many problems are there in 20 square meter for example I say three so my lambda will be 3, 
for 20 square meter we will see that in the um, at the time when we will solve questions the number of planes landed at an airport in 30 minutes the number of typing error on a page so you see in all these cases it is given to you that in a particular time period how many times things is happening in a particular space how many times things is happening on a particular page how many errors so these are the types when we apply boson distribution okay so now let's see the first point of the syllabus which says you should know how to calculate the boson probability distribution so solve any distribution there are parameters which are used and different parameters are for different distributions so for the boson distribution only one parameter is used which is called lambda and this is how we write down the boson distribution so if the constant average rate is lambda then the distribution can be written like this now what does it mean for example I have taken the example of uh, number of goals in 30 minutes right so if I'm talking about in 30 minutes and I say one goal so my lambda will be 1 and x is my number uh, number of goals I'm talking about so event is number of goals and lambda is 1 in the question if I ask you in one hour so you will change the ratio accordingly so for 30 minutes if it is 1 then for one hour it will be 2 so your lambda will change into 2 so it is very important that you be mindful for the value of lambda according to the time interval given to you in the question okay so what is the formula because it is very important to write distribution when you read the question so what is the formula for the time it is asked what do I mean by this the question for example question says find the probability that exactly three goals will happen so your uh, probability of three occurrence you have to find out so this is what I'm talking about when the distribution is this the probability of X occurrence for example I said exactly five goals so what is the probability of occurrence exactly five goals so my this will be five we will see the example in a while so this is how we apply the formula that I have to find the probability of occurrence of certain thing through this formula so important thing is that the occurrence can go up till infinity this is very important concept so formula is e to the power minus lambda lambda power x over x factorial so we will see the application of this also how to solve the question so let's go to the question and see the application of all this concept the question I have picked up is from November 2013 and in this question we will simply find the um, probability using Poisson distribution so let's look at the question the number of calls received at a small center um, has a Poisson distribution with mean this calls per 5 minutes so interval given to you for receiving calls is 5 minutes and approximately 2.5 calls are received in that period you have to find out the probability of exactly 4 calls in 8 minutes so now you will change your lambda now this is your lambda and you will change it according to 8 minutes because this is given for 5 minutes and then second question at least three calls in a three minute period so you see I told you that your um, x occurrence can go up till infinity so at least three mean three four five six up till infinity okay so let's see first part of the question first okay, I have to find out probability of four calls in eight minutes so first of all let's change the lambda so this is for changing the value of lambda so for 5 minutes 2.4 you will do simple cross multiplication and you got 3.84 so now your distribution Poisson distribution will take the place of lambda by 3.84 now this is very important to write in the beginning of every question it carries usually one mark and you have to find out the occurrence of four calls in eight minutes right 
So now let's apply the formula. Formula was e to the power minus lambda, lambda power x divided by x factorial. So my lambda is 3.85, my x is 4, so I simply plugged in in the formula and calculated the value. I hope it is clear. Now let's see the second part. Second part of the question was saying that you receive at least 3 calls in 3 minutes. So again we will need to change the value of lambda, uh, sorry, um, find out lambda in 3 minutes because these 3 is my occurrence of event. Okay, so in the question it was given to us that 2.4 calls were received in 5 minutes. So with using the same ratio, I am finding out my new lambda for 3 minutes, right? Now I have to find out the probability that at least 3 calls are received in 3 minutes. Now at least mean greater than equals to 3 and this is my formula. Now the problem is if I don't know till where it is going, how can I keep applying this formula for 3, 4, 5, 6? So for such type of question, you need to find it out using the concept 1 minus reverse of this. Now why it is 1 minus? Because the 100% probability is 1, right? Probability lies between 0 and 1. So if something is happening 100%, it means it is happening 1. Okay, so 1 minus probability of x less than 3. So from the total probability, I will subtract the opposite of this. So now uh, my x will be 0, 1 and 2. So I can easily find this out using the formula e to the power minus lambda, lambda power x divided by x factorial. Same formula I am applying here. My lambda is 1.44. I have just calculated for 3 minutes. And my x value is 0. My x value is 1. My x value is 2. So using this, I am calculating. Now it's very easy because if you see e power minus lambda is a part of each term. So you take it out in the beginning only. So mostly I do not write this step. Straight away take this out. But since it is just a beginning, so we should mention everything. After that you calculate the probability. So this is a simple case of calculating probability using Poisson distribution where we have changed the value of lambda according to the time interval given to us in the question. Now let's see the second example. Okay, so the next uh, concept in the syllabus is to find out about the mean and variance of the Poisson distribution. We have just seen that Poisson distribution can be described only by using one parameter that is lambda and this is the only distribution we need. And in Poisson distribution, lambda represents mean and variance is also represented by lambda. Now why mean and variance are equals to lambda? That is beyond the scope of the syllabus. So we will not go into the detail of it. Uh, so here we will see that mean e of x is equals to lambda. Variance which is represented by sigma symbol square equals to variance of x equals to lambda. And to find out the standard deviation, we will take root of lambda. So we will remember that in Poisson distribution, the mean and variance both are represented by lambda. Let's see an example how it is solved. For example, the question says, the number of accident per day at a large factory follows a Poisson distribution with perimeter this. Now, every time it will not be told to you that follows a Poisson distribution. So, sometimes because of the conditions you, uh, that it is happening in a particular interval, that it is a um, Poisson distribution case. So, giving this information, it is asked to state the mean and standard deviation of the number of accident per day. So, what do you think? What will you do? If question is telling you clearly that following a Poisson distribution with perimeter 2.25. So you know your lambda is 2.25, right? So lambda equals to mean and variance. So what will you do? 
so you will start writing always mention your random variable mean the probability of success or whatever the thing you're talking about here we are talking about number of accident in a day so my random variable is talking about number of accident in a day and in this distribution where this is lambda i will write down mean equals to lambda equals to 2.25 and for a standard deviation we take root of it right now let's see another example mm, on how many days in november would you expect the number of accident to be written now uh, to be within one standard deviation of the mean now one is standard deviation of the mean what does it mean if you know this is your mean for example just a line one standard deviation mean within one standard deviation so one standard deviation this side and one standard deviation this side my standard deviation is 1.5 so if i know my mean is 2.25 so what are these limits on each side so i'm just giving you an idea and then i will show you the working also because first of all we need to understand what is the meaning of the question so what limits he is talking about what boundary he is talking about he is saying go one standard deviation this side and this side because within one standard deviation so it could be on either side so let's see first find the probability that x is within one standard deviation of the mean so my mean is 2.25 so i will subtract one standard deviation from it and i will add one um a standard deviation so it is coming 0.75 and 3.75 so i will calculate the probability between this occurrence let's see how so this is the meaning of the question right and i have just calculated these values now because a uh, poisson distribution is a discrete um, random variable uh, applied on it so within this limit what are the integers you can calculate it is x1 x2 and x3 so i will apply poisson distribution formula on these three random variables 1 2 3 so e to the power minus lambda lambda power x divided by x factorial so i have applied the same formula here and then i have calculated now this is the probability of happening and when we are calculating probability like this it is of one occurrence right so now cal question says find out in a month of november <clears throat> so we know that in november there are 30 days so i'll multiply probability by 30 so number of accident i expect according to this calculation 21 days in november so so expected number of accident within one standard deviation of mean are approximately 21 days in november so thank you very much for watching the video and in my video number 2 i will cover the other aspects of the syllabus with the help of example and then i will pick up few questions more from past papers to explain thank you very much if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe the channel so that you get indication of all my uploads thanks again